Dog FPV, about three years ago, I did a review on the Beta 95X V2 HD a Cine Whoop. And this has been my go-to uh, Cine Whoop, and I really haven't had a need to upgrade. But I'm at a point now where I get tired of, you know, this naked Hero 6 on the top. I just don't like to have to mess with another camera. I did a review on the Darwin Cine 8 uh, 25, which I really like, but you know, it actually flies quite well. I think it's a great, uh, beginner quad. Uh, if you need something that, um, has good prop protection and you can still mount a camera on top, it's a good option. This is the analog version. You can, uh, look at my, my review on this, uh, I'll link it below, but it's really not a replacement for, uh, my beta, uh, 95 X. So today I'm looking at the Pavo series in particular. Um, what interests me about this, it's not the Pavo Pico, it's the um, Pavo 20. And I, what I like about this, it's Express LRS, and you can put in a Air Unit 03 into it. And for me, uh, that's a game changer because I don't have to futz around with an external camera. So I'm going to go ahead and install this DJI 03 air unit and see how well this thing does as a replacement for my older Beta 95X V2. In the box, you get the LED strip, you get some spare props, you get a dongle so that you can use Betaflight Configurator to set this quad up, and it also includes a wire harness that plugs into that and then into the quad. Uh, you get some screws to assemble this thing. Um, there are some uh, monopole, I should say dipole antennas in here. As you can see, there's two of them. And then there is um, a connecting frame. Then you get the canopy that you're gonna mount the DJI Air unit into. And then you get the quad itself. As you can see right here with the battery strap already pre-installed. So next, I'm gonna show you how you um, put this thing together with a DJI Air Unit. I always recommend getting a little container like this for your hardware when you're putting something together. At least for me, they tend to grow legs and fall off the workbench or whatever you're working on. So this kind of keeps them in one spot. Then you can see them a little easier as well. Beta FPV does have a video on the installation of the DJI 03 air unit, but it's for the Pavo Pico and not the Pavo 20. And it's close, but there's some differences. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, what the procedure is. I'm gonna follow their sequence, starting out with getting the um, air unit installed in this canopy. And I'll go ahead and link their video just so you can see that as reference as well. First, we're gonna remove these two screws that hold on this plate that hold the um, factory antenna because we're going to replace those. I went ahead and removed one screw and left the other one in just loosened up and turned to the side. We're going to gently lift up the existing antenna connector leads. Um, don't want to break anything. Snapped on the new antennas that came with the kit. Wanted to point out that you don't have to use the included uh, lighter weight antennas. I use them because I didn't want to use the bulkier stock antennas. They actually show it uh, with the DJI antenna. I decided to use these just because it's lighter weight and I don't plan on flying this model way out um, away from me. So it uh, meets my needs and it's lighter weight. Next, we're gonna put in the isolation rubber grommets into here. Uh, use some tweezers to do that. Okay, have the rubber grommets installed. You can see there's four of them. And the thicker part is obviously uh, pointing up towards the canopy. And what's nice about this particular canopy, it does have the the brass fittings for um, mounting the, the canopy with a DJI air unit on it. So that's what I'm gonna screw on next. 
have the mounting screws inserted. You can see where the screws just fit right through there. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I'm using a 1.5 millimeter hex driver. I went ahead and installed the, the wire harness first. Um, it's pretty tight in here, so before I put the canopy screwed in, um, it's just easier to do that first before I tightened up and installed the DJI Air unit with the canopy. All right, I have the canopy cinched up. What I like about this design is the brass bushings that are in the uh, mount or the canopy here and because you can tighten it down and still have um, movement for vibration isolation. So yeah, it's a pretty good design. Okay, have the camera installed, as you can see. Um, for the DJI unit, air unit, uh, I mounted the camera in the front hole here and then put this into about the center uh, that's about mm, 15, 15 degrees as far as uh, the camera angle goes. And then I went ahead and just, not real tightly, but this cable's a little long, so I tie wrap that down with a real thin tie wrap. I went ahead and tie wrap down the uh, antennas in the back here. And then lastly, I went ahead and, and tie wrap down the XT30 connector just in case of a battery ejection. It's not going to rip this thing off the board. And uh, next I'm going to put on the LED strip. I clean the ducts with isopropyl alcohol so that the lead strip will stick. One thing I did notice is that the, the lead strip itself is longer than needed. So the assumption here, hopefully that's the case, that you can cut the end off and uh, still use a lead strip. So I'm going to go ahead and start from the back and wrap it all the way around and uh, cut the end off. All right, I have the lead strip installed. It seems to be attached pretty well. This thing came together pretty nicely. The all-up weight with a ND filter on the front and then of course I have the uh, leads around the outside here. Um, is an amazing 98 grams. So this is how I'm going to be flying it. Um, if you add a battery, uh, the two batteries I'm going to be trying are this. The first one is a 2S GNB um, battery, 550 milliamp hour. And we're coming in at 127 grams. Uh, another battery I'm going to use as far as a 3S is this GNB 450 milliamp hour 3S battery. And that's coming in at 138 grams. Wow, oh, this thing is definitely bright. So it'll be pretty cool at night or at dusk. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up um, the configuration dongle and set up my modes and then we'll take it out for our maiden flight. But it all in all came together pretty nicely.
Here are my thoughts on the Pavo 20. Let's go over the pros. Compared to a traditional three inch Cine Whoop, it is much smaller, lighter, and will not draw a lot of attention in a park. Um, it's not as quiet as a toothpick quad, but it's way more quiet than larger ducted three inch Cine Whoops. If you're worried about remote ID and you are just flying for recreational purposes, it is well under the 250 gram limit. Um, it's not designed for freestyle, but on 3S, it flies very smooth and is capable of doing light acro. I'm not saying that this is uh, a recommended freestyle type quad. It's not, it's designed as a cine whoop. Um, but if you're over uh, a grassy field or in a park, um, you know, I've crashed this thing where I fly. Um, you know, it's fairly, fairly tough, the ducks, but if you hit concrete or something like that, I'm sure these ducks will break or probably break an arm. Uh, another big pro for this is the cost, minus the DJI Air unit. It comes in $105 US, which is a pretty good price point considering like the Flywoo Flylands in the Express LRS version is $160 US. So I think it's price, price competitive as compared to the other options out there in this class. Another big plus for me is that it flies on 3S, which makes the quad a lot more responsive given the full DJI Air unit that it's carrying. And then the last pro I have is the fo footprint um, is not as small as the Pico, but at 90 millimeters wheelbase it is still small enough to hit very small gaps. So that's definitely advantage over a larger three inch whoop. So let's go over the cons. Um, I'm not super keen on this dongle. Um, I mean, it's not bad, but I know I'm gonna lose this thing or I'll just, if I'm out in the field, I'll forget it, you know, cause I'm gonna put it in my parts bin. And then if I need to configure something, you know, I know I'll not carry it with me. So for me, that's a pawn, con. Another con for me on these smaller uh, models is I really think they should come with a buzzer um, even my Mobula, the original Mobula 7 that came out many years ago, had a buzzer. It seems like since then, uh, the manufacturers haven't been including just a small, really lightweight, simple buzzer. And for me, if this thing gets lost in, in hot, tall, tall grass or in a field, it's just going to be hard to find. And the D-Shot beacon isn't really going to be enough for you to hear where this thing's at. So for me, uh, that's a niggle and not a lot of uh, vendors anymore put buzzers in, but it, I think for these lighter models, it's, it's a good thing to have. So to answer the question, um, will the Pavo 20 replace my venerable Beta FPV uh, 95X V2? And the answer is yes for 90% of what I want to capture as far as videography. Um, the 10% that I think that is not the fault of the quad, it's really the DJI O3 Air unit, is its low light um, capabilities. The filter on here is an ND8 filter. And when I was uh, flying it towards golden hour, it actually was before golden hour, um, there was plenty of light and I would have not had any problems with my naked Hero 6, but because, you know, I could have taken that uh, ND filter off, but, um, you know, as bright as it was, it should have been able to not be as grainy as it is uh, that, I, that I saw. So for me, it's not a fault of the quad. I'm hoping that DJI comes out with maybe an upgraded camera on this uh, that has better low light handling capability. If they did, then this would be perfect. Um, I could use it to replace, you know, my GoPros. I don't do professional videography and I would think that, you know, it's, it's adequate for 90% of the things that you would want to do, um, in brighter light. So with that, my overall impression of this thing is very positive and, uh, I do recommend this one. So in conclusion, uh, I greatly appreciate you watching my channel. And if you have any comments, just post them below.